Okay, today I'm going to do a first ride video of a Cannondale Topstone Tiagra 2020. Um, I just picked it up a couple of days ago and I've only done a short ride around the block. So today I'm going to do a, a longer ride, see how it fares on the open road and a few hills. Um, the only upgrades I've done is I've added a Brooks C15 saddle to it. Um, I've added my speed cadence sensors and my GPS. To it. It's got rack mounts, mudguard mounts, uh, it's got three, it takes three bottle cages. Nice Tiagra disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. And the tyres are WTB. Where's the, there you go, there's the brand of tyre. It's on it, the tyres are a little. Uh, a little knobblier than I'm used to on a, a road bike, so um, we'll see how they fare. Uh, I may change those to a, a slicker tyre in the, the future, but at the moment we'll give them a go. See uh, sense lights there, my little saddlebag. Coming to the front, we've got the Tiagra shifters. I see sense light there. Oh. Hydraulic disc brakes, it's also got the rack mount and it takes a mud guard there as well. There's a hole somewhere for a mud guard, I believe. Yep, and a hole in there for a mud guard too. And a top bar cage there as well. Can put another bottle cage, that's really four bottle cages it can take really. Uh, the heads, so I've got um I've got my GPS on there at the moment. I'll turn it round. And from the other side, there's the, the drivetrain, the FSC, 40, was that a 30, 46? And on the rear, it's an 1134, I believe it is, the rear. Tiagra shifted there as well. Okay, so that's the bike. We shall take it for a spin. One thing I would like to point out is the colour of it actually. When you, you see the colour on the Cannondale uh, website, it looks a really light, sort of minty grey colour. Um, it's not, it's dark grey. It has a dark, sort of metallic grey to it. It's nowhere near as light as it looks on the, on the website. Okay, let's go for a ride. We'll see how it fares. Well, I had meant to stop me of a few more updates on the ride, but I'm 20 miles in and I can't stop because I'm having so much fun on it. That has been an absolute pleasure to uh, to ride on. Um, it certainly smooths out the roads, that's for definite. The, uh, those big tyres certainly make the roads an awful lot smoother. Um, is it light? No, it's not the lightest thing on the planet. Um, I, my other bikes are the Boardman. It's about nine and a half kilos. This, I think, weighs in about the 11 kilos. Kilo so there's a couple of kilos in it. Um, it's definitely heavy. Uh, you feel that when you're riding it. However, that's compensated by how smooth it is. Uh, it just eats the, the bumps in the road and smooths everything out. Um, those disc brakes are amazing on the hills for stopping power coming down. Gears, gears have been great. Um, it's not fast, no, it's not a fast thing. It's a different type of bike, is it for your club rides? Probably not. Um, but it depends what your, your club's like. If you're a complete roadie and it's all roads and uh, time trialling or training, then that's definitely not the right bike for that. Um, the club I ride, Ride 63, uh, Loch Winnach, is a much more slower paced, hills, more focusing on climbs. Um, then yeah, perfect. I'll get up the hills no problem too. Uh, gear ratio, one of the things about 0.95. Um, gear ratio, if you divide the, the smallest front ring by the largest big ring at the back, that's your gear ratio, so that's about 0.95. I think the carbon's are 1.03 or something, so it's definitely easier pedaling up the hills. Uh, although the weight kind of compensates a wee bit um, against it, but. Uh, Oh, it's just been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed riding that. Uh, you know, the 
build quality of it is fantastic. It's all that smooth, smooth weld alloy frame. Uh, it's really comfortable. Lovely finish on the bar tape. It's been really comfortable. Um, no pins and needles at all. These uh, Tiagra grips are quite wide, so you, I usually sit about there. But if you lean forward a bit further and stretch out, it's quite a nice wide. I'm not sure. If you there we go. It's a nice wide. Um, Grip to nice big, nice light grips on it. Uh, oh, great. So just before I head off again, the uh, the stats from that so far. Here we go. We're done. Just nineteen point six miles, uh, seventeen hundred feet of climbing so far. Um, heading back towards that's Glasgow down, and I've had my fingers. My finger going to come into the picture. Right, okay, we've got uh, Glasgow down there. We have Clyde Bank over here somewhere, and. Erskine Bridge is somewhere out here as well, it's uh, over there in the distance. There's the view, heading home. We'll chat again at the other end. Okay, we're back. Um, final thoughts. Loved it. It was really good, really good fun. Um, it made it much more leisurely. Instead of a head down, backside up and going for it, it was um, much more comfortable, much more relaxed. You're still putting a good effort in. Um, definitely, definitely a good purchase. I'm delighted with it. Um, highs and lows. The highs are definitely the comfort on it. The nice slick gear changing. Now that's Tiagra gearing on there. I've got 105 on my road bike. I couldn't really tell any difference in it. It's. Pff, is it worth spending an extra 300 quid to get 105? Nah, probably not. I don't think so personally. But I'm sure there'll be advocates on both sides of the fence. So. Um, personal opinion, I think for uh, Tiagra is, is good enough for that type of bike. Um, it's not as if I'm going racing or anything like that with it that I need higher spec kit. Um, it was very comfortable. Lows, um, I guess the weight, it's a bit heavier than I was used to on the, on the carbon bike. Um, those big tyres, they're quite, you know, they're not the most easily rolling. Um, I'm sure there's slicker easier rolling tyres but they wouldn't be any use if you were decide to take it off road to the the gravels or the, the country forest roads, forest fire tracks and things like that that it's probably designed for. Um, I'll probably not do a lot of that to be honest. I got it personally more for the the gearing and getting up the hills and the comfort. Um, time for a change. Um, so all in all, I think it's been a great wee buy. I'm delighted with it. I hope you, if you decide to go ahead and buy one yourself, I hope you like it. Um, any questions or anything like that, any comments, please leave them below. Any questions, I'll try and get back to you. If there's any particular bits of kit on there that you want more info on, just hit a message down below. Thank you. Enjoy. I just wanted to make a correction. I mean, talking about gear ratios earlier, this is a 11 to 34 with a um, 4630 on the front. So that gear ratio is 30 teeth divided by the 34 is 0.88 is the, the gear ratio. I think I said it was 0.95, it's 0.88 is the, the gear ratio. I just wanted to correct that.